Okay, so it's another day. Finally finished these um, ape hangers. Those are uh, those are ten or ten inch ape hangers, but they've got some risers. And uh, I think I measured it um, from down here up to right around the bar is about four point three inches, I believe. So 4.3 plus 10, um, you're looking total at about 14.3 total. Um, and that doesn't count uh, factory uh, risers, you know, would account for about an inch for factory risers. So in the grand scheme of things, I guess I'm about 13.3 13 or so inches high. Um, so that's that. Um, that's nobody's bars. That's some Chinese bars that came off of Amazon. Um, and that's what they look like. But now as far as these risers go, um, I knew going in that it was probably going to hit my uh, center console here. So what I got going on is I cut this out. And I'm going to put a piece of rubber in there and glue it up. And that way that fits in there both of them when you turn you don't hit anything um that's what i did um go ahead and start this thing um jvc radio some people ask about jvc radio Good thing about that is 
you got seven and a half instead of eight and a half, I've got all this room up here, which means the brake reservoir sticks out further. So a lot of people have trouble with the windshield. In my case, in my case, I need to tighten those up. cases it would be down here which would mean it would have a better chance of hitting um, so that's one good thing about these bars um, but the victory ones on eBay uh, look them up um, they've got the one inch mill down here same as this except they're 14 inch and they've got the pullback the reverse pullback these don't have the reverse pullback that's the reason I had to use risers to pull them back but most of them have it where it's way up here and then they pull back the bars themselves. So you save a lot of this hassle. And that, that particular one's probably like that. 